I am the general manager of Global Filtration Products, and what that means is I work with clients all over the world to help them certify their drinking water treatment units. I also run the business of it, so I'm in charge of all the staff who help the clients through the process of certification, which can be very detailed. The NSF Blue Mark is globally accepted, so most consumers around the world will recognize that a product is certified. Um, in terms of the types of products that we certify, we have our water division, which you're familiar with, so filters, um, fixtures such as shower heads, plumbing, piping, any of that. We also certify in the areas of pharma, food products, consumer products, automotive, as well as sustainability. If a product like a water filter has an NSF certified mark on it, that indicates to the consumer that it can be trusted to do what the manufacturer claims. So if a filter manufacturer claims that it will remove chlorine so that it will taste better, if the NSF mark is on there, then that is exactly what the filter will do. The certification process really varies by the type of product it is. So a simple carbon block may only take 90 days. A large complex system like a uh, reverse osmosis could take much longer than that. It depends on how complex and complicated and it depends on how many different claims and standards the product needs to be certified to. Certainly, um, there's two checks that we do. Any product, any filtration product that has an NSF mark on it, the manufacturer location is audited once a year. And that audit is a surprise. So the, the people at the manufacturing location have no idea that we're coming. That helps us uh, quality control, if you will, the mark. We also retest the products every five years. And if they don't pass at that five-year mark, they're no longer certified. They have to make changes in their filter and then they retest for certification. Now that's a good question and it goes to consumer trust. So your home pure product claims to produce fresh tasting water that's clear and clean. So what that means to a consumer is that chlorine's removed, so it smells good, tastes good. A volatile organic carbons, which are compounds that can cause disease, such as cancer, and nerve damage are also removed. So the consumer knows that those claims are valid because the NSF mark is on your product. Water contaminants are very geographically specific. So in some parts of the world, it could be arsenic, it could be radon, it could be things that people put in the water accidentally like herbicides or pesticides. So there is no one specific. I know some of the ones that we're getting a lot of, of information from and questions about are lead, lead in the water system, and filters can remove those types of compounds. No, unfortunately there is not. Um, your first clue might be that it smells bad or that it's cloudy. Um, those two things can be easily detected. Unfortunately, the volatile organic carbons that can be in your water, you cannot detect them. You would have to take the water to a lab that can specifically test for those. The danger level is a, a couple fold, so I'll answer the question in a couple different ways. Um, phosphorus and petroleum products cannot be removed by household filters. So they must be removed in a municipal treatment sense so the water is clean before it gets to the household of people. Those, I mean, unfortunately, those type of things happen. So there are uh, processes and treatments that can remove phosphorus and petroleum products from water before it gets to somebody's house. Once in someone's home, the filtration systems will remove the byproducts of those. Phosphorus, for example, can cause algae blooms, which can cause cyanotoxins, which can really make you sick. You can't detect them, but filters can remove them.
Yes, Home Pure can remove the sediment that may be present from a, from a contamination like that. Can also remove some of the byproducts, the volatile organic carbons. It has been certified to do that. It's a piece of consumer education that is overlooked a lot. Um, if you have a time limit on your filter or a, a light that indicates when the filter needs to be changed, you need to change it at that point because filters do have a life and after that life they will not remove um, as many uh, substances as they were claimed to. So it's very important to let consumers know, change your filter.